Hi besties, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're doing why are people triggered by you? And so to do this reading we are going to be picking out three piles together. So for pile number one we have Amethyst. For pile number two we have Rhodonite. And for pile number three we have Chrysocolla. So, take a look at which one of these three crystals you're the most drawn to. And that's probably the pile for you here today. Let me show you the crystals up close. The Amethyst, the Rhodonite, and the Chrysocolla. Always remember that if you feel drawn to more than one pile, in fact, if you feel drawn to all of the piles. Trust your intuition. It will always guide you to the right readings. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. So you've chosen the beautiful amethyst. I love the amethyst for so many reasons. We're going to talk about that in a second, but this is going to be a coherent reading. So we're going to take a look at your other oracle cards and your tarot cards to find out exactly why people are triggered by you. So why are people triggered by pile number one, please? <clears throat> you have elk. Okay, they go so much hand in hand. It's wonderful. Okay, I'm starting to see what this is about. But as usual, let's pick out first your tarot cards. To do this reading, I'm going to be using the Gentle Tarot as your main deck. And then I'll be using the Light Sears as your clarification cards. So let's shuffle with intention. Why are people triggered by pile number one, please? Why are people triggered by pile number one? Ooh, thank you very much. I feel this one and I also feel this one and this one. Let's keep it aside. It's shuffled for us to use now. Ooh, this one wanted to come out. Let's take it. So pile number one, you have the two of wands. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you have the world. I see. You have the tower. Do you know, do you see how this person is meditating calmly in this specific tower card? I love this specific tower card and it did not come up this way in your reading by accident. It's also purple and this is how the major arcanas in this deck is presented with the purple. It's going along really beautifully here. You have the ten of wands. And last but not least, pile number one, you have ooh, the Four of Thunder, which is the Four of Swords. Right, now I think we're ready to take a look at your clarification cards. And as usual, again, we are going to be shuffling it with intention. So why are people triggered by pile number one, please? Again, let's go one more time. Why are people triggered by pile number one, please? Right, let's see pile number one. You have the three of wands. Wow, it's in conjunction with the two of wands. You have the High Priestess, 
so much in harmony with the amethyst here. You have the four of pentacles, the ten of cups. Mm, this is becoming very clear here. You have the wheel of fortune. <laughs> okay, you have the five of pentacles. Ooh, and the chariot. The chariot is coming in conjunction with the four of swords. Such an interesting reading. Let me adjust the cards so that you can see them with me as well. So pile number one. Seeing the elk, the amethyst, the high priestess in conjunction with the world card, I can greatly tell you here that you are a person who's highly evolved spiritually. Let's break it down little by little so I can show you why this triggers people. First of all, with the elk, the elk is a personality who is fully established in themselves and they know their core values very well. Now, taking a look at the amethyst, as you of course know, the amethyst is a powerful and quite uh, benef has beneficial properties. It's a powerful crystal and it protects your energy field. But most importantly, as you know, it promotes tranquility between your spiritual, physical and um, physical planes so that you so that it helps you create harmony inside out. And as you know, of course, as well, it's linked to the crown chakra, the third eye chakra connecting our intuition to divine source. And so this is really highly showing me that you're an evolved spiritual person. And because you're so evolved with such high core values, um, a highly intuitive person, this is all happening because you're a person who sticks to honesty, uh, very honest with yourself. And because you are so honest, and you hold these values so strong, you force others to look at their shadow aspect. When people are having discussions with you or perhaps even arguments with you, you're, you force people to look at their shadow side, to feel maybe ashamed or guilty about what they're doing if they're being a little bit manipulative if they're being if they're gaslighting if they're trying to get things their way selfishly whatever shadowy aspect it is you really force people to take a good look at themselves and that genuinely triggers people uh, pile number one your goodness your high values your honesty helps people take a good look at themselves, whether they show that to you or not, but that's definitely a very big trigger um, that happens to people when dealing with you. Now, another trigger, pile number one, that I clearly see here about you is that you're not willing to sway from your, um, from these values. And so when you keep at it, even when it's not benefiting you, again, this triggers people and it makes them feel like, well, why is pile number one still doing the right thing? Why am I a bad person for not doing the right, the right thing? And another thing that I clearly see is that because you're such a highly evolved, beautiful person, you genuinely treat people from a good, kind place. And a lot of the times, because of this evolution that you have, not a lot of people treat others from a good place. Uh, sorry, coming from a good place. A lot of people sometimes treat others in a good way to get something out of them. And maybe that's how others have been trained to understand the world. And so when you come in and genuinely treat them um, in a good way, because, you know, the elk is a they make great people, they make great friends, lovers, mothers, fathers, co-workers, you name it. They're just there for people. They're resilient, they're stable, and they're consistent, consistently kind and supportive. 
they're in balance. And so when people see this goodness from you, they initially think you're trying to get something out of them. They don't understand this energy in the beginning. You're trying to, maybe you're weak, uh, maybe you're trying to get their approval. But then when they mistreat what you have given them, when they disrespect it, you never take it, pile number one. You're a strong, of course, being here and you hold back. And from this holding back, people realize that you're actually a good person. <laughs> you're actually a, a strong person. Um, you do not back down when they when people try to hit you back. They realize your strength during these tough times amidst uh, life's many changes or challenges or upheavals, uh, their kickbacks, disrespect, you don't take it. And it is then when they're absolutely triggered because they realize um, that they have been, that they have misunderstood you. They get triggered by your power because now they realize that it came from a genuinely good place and com they start comparing your goodness, re remembering and reliving all the good things that you've done. And they realize that you did it from a good place. And that really triggers the people dealing with you, uh, pile number one. Like I said from the very beginning, you make people take a very good look at themselves. People see you form very valuable relationships. You're not about uh, forming superficial relationships. Of course, you're nice to everyone. But... You are all about creating a small circle that is real uh, that, with people that share your values, your core values. And this is why you are all about creating a night. Uh, uh, what's, it, what's the word called? Um, tight knit community, uh, pile number one. And when you push people out because they have not been respecting your boundaries, they have not treated you with the same respect and understood your goodness. People from the outside, they regret dearly losing someone like you. And it triggers them a lot that some people get to be around you and that they are out. Pile number one. Very strong personality here. Uh, very strong inside out. Your kindness comes from a genuinely strong place. Pile number one. Now, the next thing that I'm seeing that absolutely triggers people is these uh, group of cards here. They show something very significant about you, pile number one. It does look to me like during the tough times, you stand strong. You believe that you will persevere and come out of it. You believe that you are loved and that uh, eventually you are going to change your situation completely. You're very patient, you persevere, and you don't show um, what a tough situation that you're in on the outside. So on the outside, some may even think that you're blessed. But the people who do see that you're going through some tough times, sometimes it is so bad with the Ten of Wands in conjunction with the Five of Pentacles. It seems here... Gosh, it seems here that it really could be the end of you. Of course, the people who were jealous all along would feel a little bit satisfied that you're finally uh, falling, <laughs> but make no mistake, pile number one, you never let yourself fall. In fact, when you're going through these tough times, these are the times that show who you are. You strongly believe that you're going to come out of it strong and you take the time to think and plan and you do nothing but move forward so that you can take yourself out of it and change your circumstance altogether. And you changing yourself, having all this internal power, like I told you from the very beginning, you're resilient, you're headstrong, 
and you have you possess very strong internal strength that maybe that people may not really know about because of your graceful demeanor and so with all this resilience to move forward even when it's burning just as the card suggests here when it feels so tough to persevere and go through you always go through you think you're a very smart person pile number one of course with the amethyst here you have a third uh, and the third eye and crown chakra that's very active and you plan the only thing you know is i'm going to get out of this so how is that going to happen and uh, from there you move forward it looks like to me as well pile number one with your very high intuition you're also a very good decision maker so along with that we are tying things together when you're you're confused about something or going back and forth between how to solve a certain situation how to go about it you're a very decisive person you study think very well about what you need to do next and then you step in and you take action and because of this internal process there you finally emerge and change your your situation upside down just like the wheel of fortune when you're absolutely down you are capable of making to the top and that genuinely triggers people pile number one they do not understand why you never fall you remind them again of their um, lack of action taking lack of moving forward because when you were down really down they were like oh well pile number one's really down i'm better than pile number one because i have this 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 and that and then when you go up now they're threatened because they just tagged you they were satisfied and tagging you that you were really down and now they can't keep up with you anymore and that generally triggers them they don't understand how you can move from one place into another taking such big leaps this way um and they uh, while well, they can't you remind them of perhaps their laziness their lack of action taking and you push people to start thinking about what they need to do, how they need to wake up and how they need to change your situation and if their situation. And if they don't, now they're absolutely triggered by your action taking uh, pile number one. <laughs> so pile number one, great personality. I admire and love you for who you are. And this was your reading of why people are triggered by you. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. So you've chosen the Rhodonite. I'm feeling some Taurus energy here because of the Rhodonite. Some of you, not all of you, of course, may have some strong Taurus uh, placement in your chart. Okay, so this is a coherent reading. We're going to be taking a look at your other Oracle card and your Tarot cards. And together, we're going to understand why people are triggered by you. So what is this? Wow, <laughs> you have the Hawk. Right. I think we're now ready to take a look at your tarot cards. So for this reading, I'm going to be using the Gentle Tarot as your main deck. And then I'm going to be using the Light Sears as your clarification cards. So let's ask with intention. Why are people triggered by pile number two, please? Why? I, are people triggered by pile number two? All right, so pile number two, you have the emperor. I, gosh, okay. You have the emperor. Such a strong character, pile number two. 
That's first and foremost. You have the lovers. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing a lot of shining energy. We'll get to that in a second as we analyze your cards and see how, how they're coherently speaking together. Two major arcanas already. You have the Ten of Wands. It's in the same place as pile number one. You might want to check pile number one. Okay, you also have Strength, of course. <laughs> and I think we, we ha do have space for one more card. Let me push these here. And you have the Ten of Stones or the Ten of Pentacles. Definitely Taurus energy. Uh, as a together as a message together um let's pick out your clarification cards of course this again does not need to be uh taurus i'll tell you why exactly i'm i'm feeling it as taurus energy it could be aries you could be anything really but i'll explain why i said that in specific in a second so let's ask with intention why are people triggered by pile number two? Why are people triggered by pile ooh, number two, please? Right, so let's see what you have. Pile number two. You have the four of cups. You have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> you have <clears throat> the Seven of Wands. You have the Ten of Wands. The Magician. You have the Eight of Wands. And last but not least, you have, ooh, the devil. Interesting. Interesting. So look, pile number two. The reason I'm saying I see a lot of Taurus energy, and let me remind you one last time that you do not have to be Taurus at all, is because I'm clearly seeing a message of people being triggered by you because you know how to take care of yourself very well. You know how to pamper yourself. You come across as grounded with the emperor, of course, the Rodonite, the hawk. And I'm seeing that people are triggered by your strength, your groundedness, your stability. But most importantly as well, pile number two, people are triggered by how people respect you and love you. Um, even if they don't show that to you straight away, even if they are um, playing the game like everyone else and trying to take your, be on your good side, trying to show you that they love you internally, pile number two, they are greatly triggered. They compare themselves to you um, because they don't, uh, con unconsciously they understand why people are uh, p why people admire you and love you but there's a lot of comparison going on why do they like pile number two and not me why are they treating pile number two this way and not treating me they compare themselves to how you take care of yourself how you pamper yourself how you hold yourself they compare themselves with your strength but at the end of the day you are in uh, in what's the word called impenetrable people really can't act on their triggers towards you and they have to kind of suck it up maybe they'd be a passive aggressive they get their hit backs straight away from you pile number two they do see your strength and that as well triggers people greatly uh, pile number two to be quite frank with you I do see the devil in conjunction with the Ten of Stones or the Ten of Pentacles. So this seems to me like there's a lot of envy 
to the things that you have in life, the things that you own or perhaps because of your good taste or your blessings. That's why I've been saying I see a lot of Taurus energy because Taurus, they always love to pamper themselves. They like to make their space look beautiful. They like to look their best. And because you, they, you hold yourself together very well, you're very poised, you have nice things, obviously, that the people around you envy you for. And that is a great trigger for people. Again, make no mistake, pile number two, your strength, your comeback, your perseverance. <laughs> You're very witty and you know how to respond back very well. It makes people um, take a stand back to responding to their triggers. So you may not always be seeing the triggers that we're talking about, but you're quite aware of them. Uh, pile number two, you're quite aware that this actually happens with you. Another amazing thing about you that triggers people, pile number two, is that you kind of see things clearly, you know? You're intuitive. And sometimes, uh, to your own detriment or <laughs> for your own good, you see too much, pile number two, and you become suspicious of people. You don't really trust them very easily, or at least at this stage of your life. You've been through so much. You've learned through life. You've, you learn quickly as well, pile number two, when something happens with a certain person you quickly learn the lesson and you understand more about people and that has helped you has helped you see a lot about what type of personalities are out there in the world what to expect from people how they would act would you really trust people straight away all of all of these things have made you a little bit suspicious sometimes a little bit too suspicious and it makes people triggered. Your looks, <laughs> your questions, you not believing things straight away, you taking your precautions, all of these things trigger people. You're very good at standing your ground, protecting yourself. You're not afraid to set boundaries and to not trust people, to show people that you did not, you do not trust them straight away. Uh, pile number two. Now, another thing that I'm seeing here with the Emperor in conjunction with the Ten of Cups, my goodness, pile number two, people really <laughs> envy and are very focused on your life. They think you're living a happy life. They think you're enjoying your life because you give this demeanor of being nonchalant, not caring about what other people think. You have this I don't care attitude towards you sometimes, even if you do not notice it, you know. <laughs> and it makes people think that you're unbothered and you're living a very happy life. You're enjoying your life and it really triggers people. That um, it makes them a little bit jealous thinking that you have a very happy life and you might even have it all. I do see a lot of thoughts of what is pile number two missing. They have everything, but they don't dare to show you that, especially that they envy your connections with other people or how people love you, how people look at you, how people treat you because you're quite poised, pile number two, and you demand respect. And so you get it pile number two and this makes a lot of people very jealous of how people sometimes put you first or sometimes worry about your opinion or how they treat you better than others sometimes and it makes people triggered uh, <laughs> pile number two with the hawk you're watchful there's something about your strong eyes that trigger people off pile number two you it's like when you look at people sometimes without even meaning to it's like you're looking through their soul and it really <laughs> freaks them out sometimes and it triggers them because it's like you have a deep understanding when you look at people of 
what they're made of, what they're trying to do. And it's like, when you look at them, they feel kind of naked. They feel like you understand too much, pile number two. And that genuinely triggers people. Your look, how you look at people. They're, sometimes you do have a blank stare to you. Uh, or it could be that you just genuinely understand too much. And when you look at people, they feel like you understand them and that you're looking straight to their soul. It makes them feel uncovered and it genuinely triggers them. Uh, pile number two. Whoa, such a strong character here, for sure. <laughs> pile number two. Now, surprisingly, what I'm seeing in your reading, which is very interesting, is that people are triggered by you because you are not triggered by them. Can you believe that? When people have some tricks up their sleeves of how they like to make, make people uncomfortable, take them aback with a comment or two, make them feel uh, surprised with a certain comment, it doesn't happen with you, pile number two. You're not easily moved or triggered. You're very grounded in your energy. And when people try to shake your ground, you don't budge. And that genuinely triggers people back, pile number two. They feel like the tricks that they have is not working with you. They sense your genuine power and strength. And it makes them feel less powerful than you. All these games that they have in their head because they don't have this groundedness, this real power that you have uh, within you. It's real. And they play these games because they don't feel secure in their own skin. They don't feel this genuine power. So they try to take it using techniques like that. And when it doesn't trigger you, Pile number two, it triggers them because now they don't know how to deal with you. Now they understand that you come from a strong place and that they won't be able to take control of you if they wanted to. And that genuinely triggers people. Yes, pile number two, you are definitely a person who commands a lot of respect. You're a person who's quick with your comebacks, very smart. Uh, you have an active mind. You will not hesitate to respond back to anything that you do not like. And it comes through with poise and strength. And it puzzles people. Um, they almost don't know how to respond back to you. <laughs> Pile number two. And even though you have a lot of people who have their eyes on you who maybe envy you, try to give you the evil eye. I'm not worried about you, pile number two. You seem to be protected because your aura is strong. You, Because you don't get triggered, uh, you stand your ground. You're vibrating calmly from, a, from an honestly strong place. Uh, your aura around you is healthy and strong. And so you don't get psychic attacks very frequently from people who envy you, who don't like you, who might be giving you uh, the evil eye as we discussed. You're absolutely protected. I'm so proud of you, pal number two. Love your energy. Love doing this reading for you. And that was your reading, pal number two, of why people are triggered by you. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. So you've chosen the crystal cola, such a beautiful crystal. We're going to be talking about it in a second, but I'm already getting an intuitive hit of why people get triggered by you, pile number three. So, uh, this is going to be a coherent reading. Let's first take out your other oracle card and find out why are people triggered by pile number three, please. Ooh, you have the rabbit and it's actually going hand in hand because the chrysocolla 
is about removing toxins from your aura during a time when you feel stressed or burned out. It's a great crystal for that. And the rabbit here always comes up to remind us not to indulge ourselves into fears because the more we focus on fears, the more we attract them. I'm going to tell you the story about the rabbit in a second. But first, let's take out your tarot cards because I'm sure we're going to get a very strong message here in this pile. There's so much more I want to tell you because also with the crystal cola, I do see that you're a very smart person pile number three and that's probably uh triggering a lot of people now i need to put the message together to understand exactly how your character is like and why people are triggered by you so pile number three why are people triggered by pile number three please i'm very intrigued with this reading can we kindly get more clarity on why people are triggered by pile number three. Okay, so this one wants to come out, obviously. And these two, yeah. This has been shuffled with intention. Let's find out. So pile number three, you have, oh, the flower of stones, which is the queen of pentacles. This specific message is quite close to pile number two on its own. You might want to check pile number two if you feel called to do so, of course. Um, you have the five of thunder, which is the five of swords, depicted in a very interesting way in this card. We're going to talk about it in a second. Let's put it all together. I know this is going to be amazing, <laughs> this specific pile. I love uncovering mysteries about you guys. So cool. You have the King of Wands, which is depicted as the Harvest of Wands in this deck. You have the Four of Thunder, which is the Four of Swords. I know we have space for one more card. I'll adjust how it looks later. You have the Eighth. Uh, sorry, the eighth, <laughs> the ace of thunder, which is the ace of swords. Now let's take a look at your clarification cards to get more information on why you trigger people. Pile number three. So why does pile number three trigger people, please? <laughs> you have the two of swords. A lot of swords in your reading. That is definitely telling me that you're a very smart person, active mind. That's one of the things that triggers people here. Right. So this is um, shuffled and ready for us to use. You have the devil. You have the ten of cups falling right under your main crystal, you have the Ace of Swords again. I have no doubt that one of the strong things about you, pile number three, that triggers people is your intelligence. Okay, you have the Magician. Okay, this is becoming clearer by the second. You have the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> I got the message. And you have the Five of Cups. Let me adjust your cards so that you can see them clearly with me. All right, my dear pile number threes. So first of all, before we get into the rabbit story, this rabbit in your reading is reminding me of how busy the rabbit in Alice in Wonderland was. Busy, busy, busy. And so you trigger people because you're always, you always are busy going after your dreams, trying to achieve one thing from the other. Next, next, next. And you're so quick. People cannot keep up with you. Pile number three, you're such a master in the things that you do. In fact, I'm seeing here the message of 
everything that you touch turn into gold, this mind is touch. And that is because you put a lot of thought, you're very creative, you're very smart. Um, oops, you, yeah, that came for a reason. <laughs> you're moving so quickly. You research, you read very well. And you trigger people because you seem to be well read in different areas. You seem to be someone who knows about so much of different things. Your intelligence definitely triggers people, uh, pile number three, but most of all, of how quickly you move on with your life. You do have the flower of stones here, such a beautiful uh, queen of pentacles. Don't forget you have it twice. And this is represented here by the matriarch grizzly bear, the Alaskan matriarch grizzly bear. It's such a beautiful bear. And it's been chosen in this card specifically to represent the queen of pentacles because the matriarch grizzly bear knows how to pamper herself, takes care of herself. She knows how to nap, to snack. She knows how to love herself. She knows how to have fun. You know, she <laughs> she's the ultimate queen of self-care. She makes cozy beds out of tall grass. She sleeps whenever she likes. She plays. Uh, in the water as if she was a cup you it's like you're living life to the max doing what you like and it's going so much fast paced because you're not focused on other people at all you're only focused on yourself you're focused on how to improve yourself you're focused on reading to get to know more information about how you can achieve these beautiful dreams that you have pile number three and so what's really assisting you in all of these endeavors, most importantly, is your intelligence, how quickly your mind operates. And I'm sure you know about this, but I, but did you forget, pal number three, how blessed you are with your active mind and how it's really helping you achieve your dreams. And not being able to keep up with you triggers people how smart you are your how you're able to say your point of view really triggers people because to them you always seem like you know better especially to people who seem to have to suffer a little bit with their self-esteem um, at work people cannot keep up with you whether these are your competitors or your co-workers you're always up to something creative, amazing, you know, taking the company to the next level, taking the product or the service to the next level. You just leave whatever you touch in a much better place than where you've started off. <laughs> Pile number three, love your energy. I knew I was going to love uh, this reading. And while you are so, so busy moving forward, enjoying your life, focus on yourself, people are so much focused on you and worrying about you. And that triggers them a lot. You know, I wanted to tell you about the rabbit story here. And don't forget, it's very similar to the chrysocolla on how it's able to absorb toxins from the, uh, from the aura so that you feel calmer when you're experiencing high stress or burnout. And so with the rabbit, I'm really seeing that the rabbit, you know, loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. And he talks and talks and talks and talks about it so loudly, in fact, that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. <laughs> so it, the rabbit energy here along with the chrysocolla shows that people are so worried about how far you're going to go ahead, how much you're going to create and they're going to stay in their place. They put all their time focusing on complaining on um, how life is unfair until all of these things actually manifest where they stay in their place. Life gets worse and you're moving forward ahead. And you do things in a different way. When you're stressed about something, when you're burned out, when you're worried about something, instead of complaining and living in it day after day, being lazy, you do it the other way around. You say, right, so 
I'm worried now. I do not want to live worried. What am I going to do about this? And you start using your ace of thunder or your ace of swords, thinking with clarity. How do I solve this? How do I make my situation better? How can I take out um, the things that are keeping me stuck where I am? And this is why the beautiful flower of stones or the queen of pentacles is falling right in conjunction with devil here with the two of swords when you're confused you're all about thinking and taking action and that's what gives you this rabbit energy you move ahead very quickly you're a problem solver pile number three um and you're not stressed you don't you don't have an inflated ego you're much you're you'd much better focus on moving forward than being hit and so you are a good listener you take people's feedback and so when they think they're gonna trigger you and uh, hit you back with criticism tell you what they don't like about you how you're doing things wrong it doesn't trigger you because you take it as feedback you're very thankful they gave you this feedback pile number three because it helps you move forward and when it doesn't make sense you already know that it comes from an insecure place because you're all about listening attentively without your ego and if it doesn't make sense you move it aside and you continue on your journey <laughs> and this kind of behavior pile number three really triggers people in fact let me in on on, let me let you in on something that mind boggles people <laughs> about you, pile number three. You have the five of thunder. I told you this was going to be a very interesting card. You have the five of thunder here, which is the five of swords. And you don't engage yourself in losing games or losing arguments or losing playgrounds. And so when people are competing with you, sometimes you pause and look at the situation from the outside. Is this really worth your energy? If you were trying to reach something and you feel like it's taking so much energy from you and it's really not going to take you anywhere much anyways, you... Pick your battles and you calculate your best case scenario properly. And so you think to yourself, do I really want this little top uh, winning place or should I just let this person uh, take it and let me focus on what's important and then whoop, you're in a much better, bigger place. You put your energy in the right places. And so to you, not every argument is worth winning but the important arguments are worth winning. And in fact, you're very strategic. You pick your important arguments because they make you win overall. You pick your important business moves because they make you win overall. Why fight in this little place where all the competitors are fighting when there's a big, nice NPC place there that's much higher that you can target? And that's the sort of mindset that you have. This shows me, pile number three, again, that you have great vision and this triggers people because with your quick uh, long visions clear visions it makes people feel literally blind like they can't see the way you see they're not as smart as you are and this really triggers them <laughs> pile number three definitely a lot of intelligence here i'm so proud of you pile number three with the Harvest of Wands or the King of Wands in conjunction to the Magician, there's no question about you being a very skilled person in life. And um, you go after whatever you want, knowing that what you're going to put your heart and mind to, you're going to achieve with excellence. And that is what triggers people, uh, pile number three. In fact, when you feel like even if you feel like you've worked so hard on something and it's losing again the same message, you drop it. You don't waste your time on things that are not winning. You're not egoistically tied to, the, to, to things. And that's what keeps your pace very quick. You don't 
uh, cry over spilled milk you don't hold on to that business that you've been building for so long you don't hold on to that opinion that you've built for so long you let things go and flow because you're all about what is right what is correct you're not tied to a certain ideology uh, you're not tied to a certain group of people you're not tied to a certain person you're not tied to anything you're tied to the truth to what makes sense to what is working to what is right to what is valuable to you you're tied to the truth to finding what's right and that gives you ultimate freedom and inertia without resistance to move forward in life with velocity i love your pile pile number three great job love who you are keep on being who you are keep on moving forward pile number three may you get all the blessings in life and pile number three that was your reading of why people are triggered by you love your character <laughs> and if you've enjoyed this reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading.